Included in the set of algae discs are, uh, as well as the discs that represent 1 and negative 1, we've also got x's and negative x's, y's and negative y's, x squareds and negative x squareds, and y squareds, and of course, negative y squareds. So let's have a look at collecting like terms. So what we're doing when we collect like terms is that we're adding and subtracting terms with identical variable parts. So we'll be collecting together all the ones that are similar, so all the x's together, all the y's together, all the x squares together, or all the y squares together. So if we have a think about evaluating 3y plus 1 minus 4y minus 3. Let's model that expression using the disks. So we'll have three y's, one, two, three. We'll have a one, and then we've got negative four y's. So we've got four y's, but they're all negative. So one, two, got finally negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So if we collect them together you could either leave them like that but it might be easier to group them. So I'm going to put the y's with the y's and the ones with the ones and then it makes it much easier to look for the zero pairs. So just like before, we'll look for the zero pairs and then we can ignore them because they're zero. So we've got a zero pair there and there and there and we've got a zero pair here. And so let's count that what's left and we've got minus y minus two. Or we've got y plus negative 2. And again, this really supports students' understanding of what collecting like terms actually means because they can physically do it, they can physically collect them together.